Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing today? I'm okay and I'm ready for the test. Alright, so let's start with the introduction. What's your name? My surname is Chun Gong Lin, but please just call me by noon. Okay, noon. How old are you? I'm 14 years old now. Do you like playing sports, Neil? Yes, sport plays an important role in my life, but it balances my daily routine and daily to daily routine. And while playing sport, I can find out new interests and make new friends who have the same interests with me in sports. All right, great. So tell me, what are the popular sports in the country? In Vietnam, football and badminton are the most two popular, the two most popular sport in my country. Uh, as you can easily see, children who are playing sport in the road. All right. So what are the advantages of playing team sports? While playing team sport, the members of that team must understand other and under each other. each other and understand the situation to work reasonably and reach the maximum efficacy so that playing sports in teams can help them to develop their teamwork skill and also uh, for the leader of the team, they can thrive their leading skills. All right, great. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, no, I'll show you some slides and I'll ask you some more questions. Are you ready? Yes. All the best. Okay, let's begin with a statement. Do you agree or disagree that with the help of technology, business nowadays can learn more information and learn it more quickly? I partially agree with this statement. Although internet can provide an encyclopedia which grants a plethora of information for children that, uh, that they can reach down the information easily and it also helps them to save their time so that they can learn more quickly. But there are many uninvestigated information on the internet that the student could reach so that uh, sometimes they reach the information that is not suitable for their age or that is not true. Uh, and this leads to the deterioration of their academic performance. Alright, thank you very much. That was great. Okay. Let's talk about uh, let's talk about making things, okay? Do you like making things? I'm really into making things. Uh, uh, my hope making things from the old things in my house in my house is one of my hobby. I I would like to create create metal things from the rusty Necklace or or agriculture tools, so that I can create new model weapons. Okay. Do you think it's important to learn manual skills? Manual skills are crucial uh, when they are, when you are alone and no one can help you. You must have learned the skills. You to must learn. You must learn the skills to do it yourself. To do it yourself. Uh, for example, when there are storms and sun, uh, like sun thunderstorm, and something in your house is is broken because of the thunderstorm, so you must uh, fix it because your parents are not at home. Alright, thank you. So tell me, what was the last handmade item you bought? I bought a souvenir. Souvenir. It is called a Fridgewood Magnet. Uh, it is a 
potent and magnet magnetic items. Uh, there is an art on the magnet that was made by the skillful people and they are really beautiful. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, let's talk about health now. Have you ever helped someone who was hurt and what did you do? Uh, it was just a little help. I gave them a plaster because they were uh, they fell off, or they fell off of their bike and get some, got some, got some small, uh, small injury. So I give it to them so that they can handle the situation. All right. So when did you have a last day off at school because you were ill? Um, as I remember, it was a year, uh, three months ago. Um, at that time, we were revising for the for the advanced examinations of math, so that I had to I had to learn a lot. I usually learn to twelve or one o'clock, and that made me that made me sick, and I have to. I so I have to be absent from my school uh, a day for resting, for resting. Okay. What was the last thing you did before you went to sleep last night? Mm. Uh, last night, before going to sleep, I read a book called uh, Creating God Diary. It was uh, Miss. Uh, it was a mysterious and scary piece from some random author on the online web, but it is really uh, it is plot. It was really good, and I was into it. Okay. Do you have a routine before going to sleep? Yeah, uh, I have a skincare routine before. Uh, before hitting a sack, um, I use some uh, fresh paper to clean my face, and then use some uh, skincare product products to uh, to make my skin smooth and clear. Okay. Do you think you should change your bedtime routine? And in what ways? Uh, recently, I always uh, go. I always go to bed so late. Uh, or always, uh, usually about twelve or one o'clock. So I think I should change my bedtime routine because uh, as uh, sleeping at that late time. Can lead to uh, can lead to severe can lead to severe disease and deterioration in my health. All right, thank you. That's good. Let's talk about music. How important is music to you? Music plays a vital role in my life. Uh, music helps me to oh. helps me to reset my mind. When I have many stress, uh, when I have a lot of stress and fatigue from schoolworks and uh, and uh, examination at my school, it also helps me to boost my mood when I have to work or do my homeworks. Okay. What's your favorite kind of music? Funk and funk are my cup of tea. Uh, they are the old music from the previous de decades, but they re remix them and make them new and exotic. And they are mood booster that I can use them to to 
level up my mood when I have to do a lot of books or I have a lot of homeworks to do at the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Okay. When and where do you listen to music? Um, I have to do a lot of works and homeworks from from school. So I normally listen to music when uh, I have spare time, and it uh, it is often uh, 11 a.m. or 7 p.m. and I usually listen to them in my studying room because uh, as my desk as my PC was put in there. Okay. So have you ever uploaded a video on YouTube? Uh, I haven't uploaded any video to YouTube. Uploaded. Uploaded any video to YouTube. I have no talent in creating content and I didn't create a channel that which able me enable me to upload video to YouTube. So why, why do you think people upload videos to YouTube? There are many reasons why people do that. Um, maybe people want uh, uh, they upload videos to YouTube because it is their hobby. Uh, they think that what it, it is fun and really uh, and it is uh, an absorbing thing to do, but on the other hand, on the other hand, people want to make money, want to make money and want to get fame. They upload the videos just because of the finance reasons. Alright, thank you very much, Nook. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Peter J from Arnold Stringless Center, and this is Nook, my student. Uh, well, he, ha <coughs> Sorry. he has a very good thinking skills and he uses vocabularies very well. But for now, he, uh, there are some mistakes in grammar in his two group. His pronunciations are also very good, but in his two group, his fluency, that's for now. Overall, he is doing good. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Bye now. Bye.